Hello and welcome to our time of communion. My name is Ethan and I get the privilege of sharing a thought from the book of Jeremiah this morning. Jeremiah, Old Testament prophet, uh, heard messages from God and delivered them to the people of Israel. And so while we aren't Israel, I think the message that, uh, that God spoke to the people applies to us today. And so I'm going to read it and then we can, uh, we can talk about it. So God is, he's calling out the people of Israel. And so uh, I'll read it. I'll read it to you now. My people have committed two sins. They have forsaken me, the spring of living water, and have dug their own cisterns, broken cisterns that cannot hold water. So two things here. We see that, that God is this spring of living water and, and his people have rejected that. And they've gone after their own source of water, which is what a cistern was. It was just a hole in the ground uh, that was dug. And when the rains fell, it filled up and they were able to get their water from there. But wouldn't you much rather have a natural spring full of crystal clear water than a cistern that, that has mud and, and rocks and, and twigs in it? But he's even saying that these cisterns, they're broken. They don't even hold the water that these people are are looking for, are wanting. There's not enough water in there to quench their thirst. And so think of our own lives. Think of those moments when you have longings in your heart. Where do you turn? Do you turn towards God, the natural clear spring? Or do we turn towards sin and earthly pleasure, the treasures of this world? And so as we as we approach the communion table as we as we think about communion we have this opportunity to to be reconnected to god to to be reminded of jesus's sacrifice on the cross and what that meant for us and how that his sacrifice is able to fully satisfy any longings that we have as long as we turn towards him and not towards the things of this world and so today, um, I don't know whether you feel uh, weary, whether you feel like you are, are, are tired, or whether you're feeling, you're feeling good, but I want us to examine our, our hearts and where, where we're turning in these moments. Uh, are we turning to, to the things of God? Are we turning to the things of this world that we know don't satisfy us? that we know only fulfill our thirst for a, for a time. So communion, as you take the, the cup and you take the bread, think about how Jesus is meant to satisfy us. He is meant to be enough, and he is enough, as long as we give him the opportunity to be. So in your own time, uh, after I'm done praying, uh, take, uh, take the communion cup and the bread, uh, and think on these things. All right, let's pray. So Father, we thank you for who you are. Thank you for this message that you gave thousands of years ago that still applies to us today. Our foolish hearts turn towards things that don't satisfy. And so in this time of communion, I pray that we're reminded of your son's sacrifice. You're reminded of what you've done for us. And that we think on these things. And the next time we, we look for fulfillment, we look for um, our thirst to be quenched, we turn towards you instead of anything else. So Father, be with us today. And uh, yeah, pray these things in your son's name. Amen.